Oops, so let's finish off part nine. We got the heavy arms just now. Oh, just recently. So that was pretty cool. Too bad he didn't really do anything, but you know, it helped us able to shamble. <clears throat> so now we just wait. Because unfortunately using this on a computer, it takes longer to connect. Even though, ironically enough, I'm on an Ethernet connection with uh, my desktop. But it is what it is. Let's see how big this is going to be. Because now they got to hand the Unicorn over to... That's the Banshee. Anyways, they got to they gotta hand the Unicorn over to the Federation. So now we can see. All right, the Rock Islands briefing room. So now let's see. I understand. Why do we have to hand over Benadja and a unicorn now? It was suspected that Benadja was in communication with Neo Zeon. The unicorn sortied from their cargo ship. That wasn't something we set up. I understand. The real goal is the little plus program and control of the box. It wasn't the Federation forces that gave permission to enter Antarctica, but I have my doubts about the timing now. Oh yeah, you know what it was. It, <coughs> sorry, buddy. If they'd felt like it, the general staff could have issued an order to seize the Unicorn Gun at any time. Oh yeah, they could have. I heard from Congressman Roman Ronan Marston that the Vist Foundation was planning to do something, but I wonder if they might be preparing something over there. Oh no. Are you saying that the Vista Foundation is working behind the scenes? If that's the case, there's no need to listen to orders, right? No. The Divine Doors is an independent force, but its core is Hondo Bell, and I as its commander, am a soldier of the Federation Army. Yep. Therefore, I will not disobey orders from the General Staff, even if I don't agree with their contents. Ugh. If Camille had been in the past, she... If Camille had been in that... Ugh. If Camille had been there in the past, they would have complained about the convenience of adults here. The reason we're able to do so many things in this world is because the Captain and Director Oka have been able to pass the rules to the Federation Forces General Staff. Oh, Camille looks angry. I understand that, but there are probably other ways to escape, like going to another world. Let's not try that. That won't be a fundamental solution. Right now, we should make a balanced decision as much as possible, taking into Canal, Benadjur, and the future activities of the Divine Doers. Now that the Zeon remnants have shown such movement, Neo Zeon may resume full scale activities in space. In any case, Benadjur and Unicorn will be handed over to the Federation forces. Aww. Before that, there's something I'd like to ask you guys. Do you think the Unicorns. The Laplace program showed the following coordinates. NTD didn't seem to be running this time. Did you ask Benadra about it? No, not yet. Uh-oh. Preliminary hearing, I guess. What about Camille? At that moment, the Unicorn's armor expanded for a moment, and it looked like a psycho frame was shining. I see. Captain, are you suspicious of Benadjur? He was inspired by the Xeon Remnants. All but one of the civilians who were riding the Gundam under me were very sensitive. I have to be very careful about them. If you say so, I'll leave Benadjur to you. Ah, uh, in times like this, seniority comes into play. You can't just be the captain of a Gundam equipped ship. Yep, only he can. I know, Brian. Now let's see. <coughs> Restoration Force is super huge transport aircraft Garuda. Or Garda. Oh boy. Naji Burn. Even if it's a pseudonym, it sounds nice. Does Chairman Roman not, not agree to my transfer? Of course. Chairman Roman and I, Ronan and I are working for the same purpose. The fact that 
Lieutenant Riddy Marcinas brought you here is proof of that. I will seal a place's box. His, eyes, his highness also wanted this and left Neo Zeon. Soon, the key to the box. The unicorn gun that will be brought to Garda. Until then, the pilot boy will be its guardian. He doesn't know us either, but Naja Lynx. I can't believe how much trouble it is for me to have my son inherit his foolish father's delusions. But Naja is the one. Would you be willing to partner with me, your highness, Mineva? You want me to convince Benazir? I won't do anything bad. I'll also guarantee the position of the Xeon Remnants to follow you. I saw Maria Cruz on the Mosu desk earlier. First, I want her back. Lieutenant Marita. Marita. Peru 12 is working for us of her own free will. That's a lie. You forcibly readjusted her. Yes, thank you for letting me do it. Just like Neil Zeon did once. She was a prostitute in, um, original unicorns. Makes sense. We didn't create that poor creature. I just released something inside her and gave her a chance for revenge. Revenge. Yes, revenge on the world that created people like me. A world ruled by men's logic. I refuse to talk to you. I respect the level of pride, but that pride can sometimes kill people. Do you understand? You just stole the future from the Xeon survivors who adore you. The only future is coexistence with the Vist Foundation. A woman can kill a man with her pride. Be a good woman and learn from a boy named Benadra Lynx. Now we're in the Rock High Lamb again. Probably Bright having like a midlife crisis. Guess the next coordinates were disclosed. Excuse me, please be quiet, what? No, it's because you told me the truth here. It seems like you still trust me. That's natural, Captain Amaro, Camille, that's natural. Captain Amaro, Camille, and the others. But I can't show it to anyone anymore. If anyone finds out about it, that place will become a battlefield again, and many people will die. It is true. Did you escape from that disguised cargo ship? It's different from escaping. I feel like they sent me away. Even the captive wasn't satisfied with that kind of strategy. I guess so. The movement of that ship gave me that feeling. You are not treated as a prisoner of war. Are you saying that you had the freedom to act according to your own will? That's... that's right. I didn't feel like we were enemies. Like the people of the Federation said. Why? I'm not a military man, so I still can't get used to how... to distinguish between friend and enemy. You'll never be a military man. He'll never be the military man, but there was an atmosphere on that ship that didn't require such a thing. I see. I understand. Thank you. Are you going to ask me where the next coordinates are? Oh, if you try to force the lock open, it will break. That's a good analogy. What will happen to me? We have no choice but to obey orders from above. The Norse for us to continue to operate in this world with the support of the military, as we have always done. So basically we're turning him into the Federation. But the hands think, we will never abandon you, so... Don't give up. There's power in your eyes. There are strong eyes that can take advantage of a hardship. If you don't give up, you'll definitely be able to take advantage of opportunities. I don't have that kind of power. It's all just a coincidence. The fact that I rode the unicorn, and the fact that I'm doing this here... Is that really the case? Hmm? It may have been a coincidence that Gundam was right in, the Gundam was right in front of you at that time. 
It's the same with all the people who have ridden the Gundam under me. However, whether or not they choose to ride the Gundam is their own decisions, and it shouldn't be a coincidence. Am I wrong? At that time, what made you decide to ride the Gundam? There's someone I want to help. Aji Byrne, from Neva Zabi. You know, what you're trying to carry is heavy. Yeah. Oh boy, now at the... Ooh, Beltachka. It's been a long time, Amuro. You seem to be doing well, Beltachka. I wonder if she... Well, then again, Hainu is from Beltachka's children. So, of course, she's here. Other things are going well with your mechanic girlfriend. Wait, what? Why'd you, do, why'd you say that? <laughs> I, hope you don't, I hope you don't underestimate my information network. In that case, I have a favor to ask you in anticipation of that. What? I'd like to contact the Garancher and disguise cargo ship with the sleeves. I'm sure the Luo Company, which has connections to both the Federation and Xeon, should be able to do it. Are you serious? Ah, there's someone who's perfect for negotiating. He's a man who really hates Xeon. Uh-oh. Oh, Kai! Is that a bad thing for you guys? No. I think it's okay to say it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Once the key to Laplace's box is delivered, the Foundation guys' plans go up into space, along with your princess. After that, they won't be able to touch you anymore. But it's never truly freedom, is it? How can I trust you? He's Kai, that's how. It's not interesting that the Fist Foundation is colluding with the general staff to manipulate the military as we see, as it sees fit. There are field commanders who think so, and on the other hand, there is the Luo Company. <coughs> Which can be called the Federation's business rival. Whatever the true nature of Laplace's box is, I don't want to see it end up with this as an opportunity for the Federation and the Federation for the Federation and the Foundation to deepen their collusion. If you want to prevent that from happening, you might as well use Neo Zeon, Captain. Are you sure that the Princess Marita are in the Garda? You guys be all the way, you guys must be well aware of the power of the Luo Company's information network, right? However, we can't afford to do it alone. Even if we can launch a surprise attack and we'll capture the princess, there's no point in doing so if we can't escape. He's got a point there. That's why you said it was a joint operation from the beginning. Okay. One more thing. There's talks so I wanted to dispatch personnel from that side to the from that side to this side. Human resources. He's a man you may know well. And he also comes with a Gundam as a bonus. Hey, that's it's probably Amaro. I see, it's a complicated situation. We participated in a Gundam landing operation called Operation Meteor. But that was cause that was but that what but was there a man in the world in this world who almost caused a meteorite to fall on Earth? Wow. He's referencing Char probably. Maybe even in your world. Deccan Barton Deccan Barton and his friends who planned the true Operation Meteor intended to drop five colonies on Earth. Barton, could it be? He's not my blood relative. Well, there's a Xeon princess involved in the box, and Benaja wants to help her, so things are even more complicated. If you say what's inside the box is something that will overthrow the world's government, then just destroy the Unicorn Gundam. That way, no one can mess with the box. Wow, Wufei. Alright, sorry about that. But wow, Wufei basically is. He's a genius. In this case, many people, including us, learned of the existence of Laplace's, Laplace's box. That can no longer be the case. 
for more than anything, Banaja won't approve of the destruction of the Unicorn Gundam. It was also something that was entrusted to him by his father. His father was a previous head of the Vis Foundation. The box is also a problem for the Vis tribe. Family. Anyway, if this situation ever arises, we have to rescue Banaja. I didn't give you such an order. But, huh? But, uh, Captain. Don't get to have yourself in this situation, Koji. Um, Roger. Captain Amaro and Banaja Tsuhu, are you going to transport the unicorn gun now? That's right. Camille, use the Wave Rider to transport the unicorn to Garda. What about the Garda? That super large transport plane? Ah, it's different from the Adumla, which was our stronghold in the Grips conflict, but it's the first one. Banajer, Garuda has Maneva Zabi and Lieutenant Marita on board. But why did they do that? I told you, think about your hands. Captain Bright. Then Gallantur seizes the opportunity to hand over the unicorn and carries out a plan to recapture them. Ah, fight together with them. Is it okay to do it? However, you can't return here. That's hide out with the people of Gallantur for a while. Oh, they have a plan at the least. Right now, there's no other way to keep the key to the box out of the plotter's hands. There's no other way to save her. Are you ready for that, Banacha Lynx? Yeah, there is. Good. I'm officially going to throw you out, but considering the future situation, I can't stand up for you. However, even if you leave, I'll still support you. Aw. Thank you. Divine Doers. As I heard from Hiro and Duo, it seems they are not a one-off force. Banaja. Yes? It hurts that I can't go with you, but don't give up. Don't forget the light in the hearts of the people you saw back then. Alright. Banaja, please rescue Lieutenant Marita and Maneva. When the time comes, an invincible super robot army will come flying at you. Understood, Miss Four. Thank you, Koji. And I think that you were chosen to be a Gundam, just like the person who once wrote a Gundam. Selected by Gundam, huh? It was always an inevitable outcome, for better or for worse, but... But what, huh? But I... I have no regrets. Of course not, you got like two girlfriends from this. Me too, Benadjur. You went into a coma. Camille went into a coma and everything. Heck no. Comro, Camille. Banadjur, take this with you. It's part of our support. In this case, it can only be used with your... Open with your biometric authentication. What's inside? I dare not say anything. When you decide there's nothing else you can do, open it. I understand. Oh boy, what are we going to get out of this? The rest is up to you. Don't let the situation crush you. Come on. Alright. Have the courage to fight back the spare like you did in Axis. Make you are a Gundam. A new type. Okay. So it looks like we're about to fight the Vanshee then. That should be an interesting situation. The black unicorn. Oh boy, here's your boy pizza. The sky is nice. For you humans to build such huge wings, it seems like you've realized the wonders of the sky at least a little bit. This is Camille Bidon of Londo Bell. We're transporting the unicorn Gundam by order of the Federation Army General Staff. As instructed on the landing course to the Garda. 
What? A black unicorn? Does a similar model exist? Is that what Captain Bright was talking about? About preparations on the other side? Camille Bidon. Hand over the unicorn gun and return home immediately. What? Marita. I am Puru12. My name... <coughs> My name is not Marita. What are you talking about? Why are you riding in the mobster like that? Captain and everyone else are worried. Don't talk casually. Marita! Oh boy. Wait, Benadjur. Perhaps she's been being readjusted. Wait for the chance to get her back. Alright. Uh-oh. I understand that the unicorn will be handed over. From now on. Oh boy. Frust. Drum to Garda. Stay close. Oh man. You need something reckless without considering your age. Grant Galanchar. The timing is too early. Puru 12. Leave the transportation of the unicorn to the Z Gundam. And let the Banshee shoot down that fake cargo ship. Alright. Why are you making Captain and Marita fight? Stop him, Benadjur. If you blatantly lend your hand to Galen Jar here, the operation will not go well. Ah, main character syndrome. Then what should we do? Isn't it so sad that Captain and Marita are fighting? I'll stop Marita. I will save her. Idiot. There's a way to save people in battle. That... Hmm? These words once said to the... These words once said to me by Captain Quattro. I was in the captain's position at that time. And Bonajo was me trying to save four. I can understand a little bit of how that person felt. I'm different from Captain Quattro. Yeah, you are. Okay, Bonajer. We'll stop Lieutenant Marita. But then Camille. I'm not an official soldier. Let's go. Ugh, Gundam. Hmm? Gundam. Is the enemy. Oof. Marita. Oh, hey, pull through 12. You're attacking the wrong person. The other side made the move first. Thanks to you, my argument stands. I'm going to make the most of this opportunity. Yeah, let's kill this thing real quick. Oh, boy. Marita-san, or Marita, listen. The captain is coming. Everyone in Gallanture. Audrey. Huh? You and the captain should never become enemies. Peru 12. The master is... Alberto Bist. No, it's not. It's Zimmerman. No, you're Marita. The captain is Captain Zimmerman of Gallanture. <laughs> Gundam is the anime. Die. You keep repeating the same thing over and over again. We'll stop it. So I say they can't hit the Gundam anyways. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Now, go, Frost. All right. Okay, you guys evacuate. Is he really gonna be crazy? Please don't be so reckless. Heh, <laughs> that's already done. Get away now. The captain has attached himself to Gar the Garuda. What's next? Zonda. Oh, snap, a Zonda Robo. That Zonda Robo. Why are you here? Zonda, absorb that giant plane and become a complete body. Banaja, you must rescue Mineva. All right. It's like a reenactment of the Battle of Kemonjaro Base. At the time, thanks to Captain Armor Captain Quattro, I was able to avoid the tragedy. 
So that's how I did it. So I'm sure you can do it this time too, Benadjer. You can't. He can't trust me. Or can he? I have the Girder's base. Oh boy, let's see what they do. Your Highness, the situation has changed. We will accelerate the launch of the shuttle. What kind of battle is going on outside? I can't answer that. Hurry. I won't let you do that. Wait, what? You. He's horny. Ready. Maneva, I'm going to rescue you. Hurry up and get to the Delta Plus. Lieutenant Ready, do you understand your position? No, he doesn't. He's ready. I do this because I know. You know what will happen if you kill Roman Noir's Nasa's son, right? I'll give you Benadja and Unicorn. But you'll give her back. What are you going to do after you take me away? Where is your men when you need them? You should think about it after you get... We should. I'll think about it after I get you out of here. What do you want to protect? Me as a person? The secret of Plus's box? Or the honor of family. I don't care about the house. He fell in love. A hundred years ago, when the place was blown up, everything starts glory. My father, me and my father too. Everyone here is being carried away by that crazy result. But no matter how crazy the world is, there are 10 billion people living in it. And off it. There's nothing we can do. We have no choice but to protect them. We can't turn everything upside down like the Xeon guys did. There you go. Money. That's right. We must protect the secret of the box. Maneva knows that as well. That's why we ask for your cooperation. Shut up. The culprit behind all this is you is yours. Is you guys. It's Suzerain? It's just coincidence that your sect master um Cyan, Cyan Bist got the box. It was good until it took advantage of the assassination of the first prime minister of the federal government and our heartland policies that began as a result of that and rose to prominence. Dang. When Xeon cried out for space to independence and a one year war broke out, everything changed. It was only then that both the federal government, which rode on the rails, and Cyan itself, which laid the rails, realized. Realized what though? The meaning of what we have done and the true power of the Plasma's box. Dang, Mr. Philosophical. You know that. Please tell me, what is this boss that causes you so much pain? Everyone here has a right to know. Maneva, come with me. Huh. Unicorn is, unicorns are dangerous. By showing the existence of unitypes, they will turn the prayers of a hundred years ago into curses. That's why... Curse. The destroy mode. I'd have the power to change the world. Even if it's an imperfect order. If there's no way to change it, I'll protect it. That's what makes me... What? What the? Hey, hey! Zero Min! Princess. Neo Zeon. Zero Min. Yeah! Rescue her, man. Time to fight a Zonder. Zonda. One unnecessary, one unnecessary hindrance after another. Ani, it's dangerous. Come here. Uh oh. Is it planning getting to the Garuda? Zonda. Ah! Maneva! Princess! You keep going like that, you'll fall. Grab my hand. Don't, please. What are you doing? Hurry up! Ready? You and I are on different paths. Yeah, you are. Is that what you're saying? I'm a woman from the zombie family. 
with my own eyes, I will determine the true nature of Laplace's box. I've always believed that even a distorted order is better than war. But if it only suffocates people... Maneva? Huh. Maybe I'll end up committing a deadly sin like my father and grandfather. But I... Are you planning on fighting the world alone? No, she's got the unicorn. <laughs> no one can believe that the world will change. No one cares about what the world will be like a hundred years from now without us. Yeah, they will. Because Gaia Gear takes place in like the, near the UC200s, G Savior, etc. What's the point in turning them into enemies for the sake of those people? You're not alone. No way, Maneva, stop it! Goodbye, I'll never forget you. Maneva! Accept it, Benadjer! Audrey! Go and get her, man. Now! Let's go, unicorn! Benadjer, he did it. I heard your voice clearly. I was happy. I felt like I understood why I was here. Because you called me. Because I... Hmm. If this feeling is real, then my voice should have reached Marita's son, too. No, it didn't. I'll definitely bring you back. Her back. You wait here. Isn't that good? Yes. Please, Benadjer Lynx. Good job, Benadjer. Come here. Mr. Frost. Audrey, please. It was definitely frustrating and difficult. Uh, uh. Benadjer, I trust the rescue of Captain and Marita to you. All right. Gundam is the enemy. An enemy that must be defeated. The usual stuff. Marita, come back to your senses. Benadjer, you have to get Lieutenant Marita out of the Black Unicorn. Huh? Oh no, it just took over the thing, didn't it? Come on, Zonder, take in those giant wings. Zonda. Oh boy. I won't let that happen. Broken Magnum. Guy. Both of you, leave it's Gagagar and Coxasian to deal with that Zonder. Huh. That's right. Uh, but Zonder's purification. It's okay. I brought Mamoru, too. Right now, I'm waiting on a transport plane. Right now, he's waiting on a transport plane in a faraway place. When did they show up? Marita, I'll stop that black unicorn and help you. Let out the voice that... I'll let out the voice that resonates in your head? Your head hurts. It's proof that you're actually resisting. Marita, listen. It's me, Zeremin. Zeremin? Master? Yeah. Marita, come back. If you come back, everything will be back to normal. Master. The master... No, the master... Hmm? She's my daughter. Her name is Mary. If she were still alive, she would be around the same age as you. Hmm. What is this voice? I heard it some too. Get off that plane, Marita. Or get out that mobile suit. Let's go back to space together. Oh, he's trying to get her. Come with me. Don't leave me alone. Ah! Mary. Did, that black gun, did the black gun stop moving? Get that Zonder now. Yes, it's time to help the captain. I'm honestly surprised his honor didn't try to just go for the black unicorn. But it is what it is. There we go. And recovered some. Great. But it doesn't really matter. It's a phone game. 
Sonda Robo. Make absorbing that giant plane your top priority. Sonda. It's gone. Uh oh. I'll let you do that, please. Keita! Leave it to me. Break synthesize. I showed you you showed that to you before. Get oh. Wait, what? CN systems and take port. With this I can't we can't use the synaptic bullets. Dang, pizza thought ahead. Starts to go and be as good as usual. Zonda. The Gerudo still has captain. Hmm? Master won't let me do it. No snap. Okay, Peru 12. Just push him back. I'm not Peru 12. I'm Rita Cruz. Her master is Zimmerman. Dan's on the robo. Absorb that wolf suit first. Ah, the black unicorn's arms. No problem. Armed armor, BS. Armed RVN, purge. Oh, what? He purges weapons on both arms and use explosive pressure to knock Zonder away. Maria. <laughs> Finished off, GGG. The rest will be decided by Gao Gaigar. The Goldion Hammer. Let's just be thankful it's a single attack now instead of a team attack like in the Alpha series. Always wondered. Then again, knowing how this is a mobile game, there probably isn't any other unique animation or anything else. Or it could be a Zana unique animation. What my Zana Robo? It's good that you remember humans. All right, let's take the Zana core to the transport plane. Mamaru is on. What are you gonna do with that black unicorn? The captain's orders are to re leave the rest of Banajir. We're heading home. Eh, uh, that's not what happened. But Nodger, see you again. Understood, guy. Don't lose sight of what you need to do, but Nodger. I was happy that Camille wanted to help Marino with me. Hey, yeah, probably read about anything. Because Camille protected my back, I... No. Captain Amro and Captain Quattro back then. Say hello to Takuya and Mikat. Well, oh, Mikat. I came out without saying anything to those two. Oh no. Ah, I see. I'll take care of the rest. Marita. Let's go together to the captain's place. Yeah. Captain. Here we are. Well done, Banajer. And Marita. Master. Hmm? Banajer, you got Maneva. It won't for you. Captain, hurry. Ah. Marita will be my unicorn, too. Oh, he shouldn't have a gun. Both of you, please hold on tight. Yeah. Ah, understood. Let's go. Damn, Lando Bound Neo Zion but might become gurus. What? Gundam. Gundam. And he stole the Gundam. Did he really steal the Gundam though? Who knows? Now nah, it's almost over. I see, that guy. 
Captain Brian Misato also made some very drastic decisions. Uh, I think this is the best solution for now. Oh, yeah. He went to Neo Zeon. Can he come back here? Once the Laplace, once the Laplace's box case is over. There's no guarantee of anything like that, right? Even though he went to the enemy's side. You keep saying things like that. Will you be relieved? Hmm? Eh. This scene is full of idiotic, good-natured people. So there's no way they'll leave Banajar alone. Yeah. That's right. We'll do what we can, Mikade. I'm riding an Eva, and Banajar's riding a unicorn. What are you going to do? That's a good question. I... Asuka, you're saying too much. I don't like that kind of arrogant guy. I don't like that kind of arrogant person. Well, with that look in her eyes, it's okay. Do you understand? Hmm, I understand. Just before the unicorn gunner was to be accepted, it was attacked by a disguised cargo ship with sleeves. And Maneva... Rao and Zabi were robbed. Oh, Maneva Leo Zabi was um kidnapped. We received reports like that, but there are also records about between the Banshee, the Z, Gundam, and the Unicorn. The pilot of the Banshee attacked the Gundam as a sign of hostility. It was only a defensive action. EL twenty five appeared, and Camille and the others had their hands full with the Garuda guards. As you know, that thing has the ability to store machines. In the end, it was a mistake on our part to allow the disguised <coughs> cargo ship to escape. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, buddy. So about Bernard Lynx, he is suspected of having a secret relationship with Neil Zeon and fleeing in front of the enemy. I told him very well in order him to look for information on the Neil Zeon side. In other words, they intentionally let him infiltrate. It's all a very good plan, Colonel Bright. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm sorry. However, in order to justify this, you must prevent the disaster that would occur due to Laplace's box. That's in my intention from the beginning. Understood. Now, please leave negotiations with the General Staff to me. We apologize for the inconvenience, but... Why, it's just a raccoon, dog. But Nodger, that's all I can do for now. I'll leave the rest to your judgment. Don't take the wrong path. And with that, that's part nine of this story. Let's just be thankful it's over. Yeah, it's over. Because then it's part ten. Ooh, Code Geass stuff. Oh boy. Well, we'll save it for the next part. Till the next part, goodbye.